In a Spanish town, Vicente and his son Ian execute a theft at a grocery store. While Vicente hides bottles under his jacket, Ian uses his illusion power to distract the clerk. Despite a successful escape, a confrontation with girls causes Ian to drop the illusion. In the store, the clerk discovers the theft, and Ian's attempt to use an illusion to escape leads to an accidental shooting. As they flee from the police, Ian reflects their pursuit using a mirror, but the illusion eventually breaks, reigniting the chase. During their argument about going on the run, Vicente cryptically mentions their attention, refusing to elaborate when Ian presses for details. The pursuit continues until they reach a beach, where Ian conjures a massive illusion of a hailstorm to divert the police. The incident is caught on security cameras, drawing the attention of the mysterious Dr. Adriana. The following morning, on their concealed ship home, Ian has a disturbing dream about his late mother. Vicente prepares a special birthday breakfast, sharing a photo of Ian's mother from the day he discovered his powers. Ian, desiring a normal teenage birthday, clashes with his father when forbidden from going to the arcade. Furious, Ian escapes through the window. Meanwhile, the perceiver disrupts the police and attracts the attention of the agency, leading to a confrontation on the ship. Adriana, from the agency, seeks information about Ian, and when Vicente resists, they receive a message revealing Ian's location. In town, Ian is discovered by the perceiver and pursued by agency agents at the arcade. A chaotic fight ensues, showcasing the perceiver's powers, but Ian is eventually captured and taken to the agency. Adriana discloses their mission against the conscience, a group with powers similar to Ian's, and seeks his cooperation. She explains the potential of Ian's blood to block the enemy's powers and conducts tests to understand his abilities, including his power to enter others' memories. Vicente warns Ian about the agency's intentions, leading to a tense situation as Adriana reveals the truth about Ian's abilities and the ongoing conflict between the agency and the conscience. Ian delves into his father Vicente's memories and discovers a younger Vicente working for the agency. During a chaotic incident, he kidnaps baby Ian with Adriana, attempting to intervene. In the present, as Ian releases his grip on Vicente, he learns that Vicente is not his biological father. Adriana confirms this revelation but hints at the possibility of Ian's mother being alive. Distraught, Ian faces an identity crisis, and Adriana, after showing the blood test results to an American, emphasizes Ian's potential as the only defense against the mysterious mule. Later, Aster informs Ian that he is essentially a lab experiment, offering an escape. In a swift and skilled move, Aster incapacitates the guards, and the duo attempts to leave. Ian insists on taking Vicente, believing his memories hold answers. As they escape, alarms sound, prompting a pursuit by agents. During a chaotic car chase, Ian's erratic driving leads to a crash. The perceiver revealed as the doctor from the lab emerges, but Ian uses his powers to deceive him. The trio finds refuge in a motel to evade further pursuit. The following morning, Ian and Esther spend time together on the roof before finding Vicente unconscious in their room due to drinking. Eager for answers, Ian delves into his father's memories and uncovers a significant memory involving Adriana and a mysterious patient named Kaminsky being transferred to Poland. Disturbed by the revelation of a masked figure with three missing fingers, Ian loses his connection to the memory. Later, Ian attempts to acquire money by tricking a bank clerk using illusions, but their escape is thwarted when the clerk realizes the deception. Back at the motel, Aster enjoys playing with the stolen cash while Ian becomes increasingly concerned about Vicente's absence. Hearing someone approaching, Ian prepares an illusion to confront the perceiver. A tense fight ensues, during which the perceiver uncovers the truth by revealing an unaffected mirror. Ian's attempt to resist is in vain, and he learns that the perceiver plans to travel to Poland to find the scientist behind the experiment. After the encounter, Ian awakens to Vicente scolding for the bank incident, leading to a heated argument. Frustrated with Vicente's lies, Ian decides to pursue the path to Poland alone, unaware that Adriana and the American are tracking his movements. Later, in Poland, Ian and Esther search for the lab, encountering agents whom the perceiver swiftly eliminates. Upon reaching the abandoned building resembling the one in Ian's dreams, he discovers a hidden room by tapping on the walls. In this concealed space, filled with cabinets and documents, they find a notebook titled Project Awareness containing a picture of Ian's mother. 
As they delve into the photograph's details, they learn that the scientist behind the experiments is Ian's grandfather, who used his own daughter for the project. Meanwhile, Vicente returns to his ship and is visited by Adriana, who urges him to stop drinking and become a better father. Back in Poland, Ian's quest takes an unexpected turn when Esther brings the perceiver inside, claiming to help him find the answers. Despite Ian's resistance and an illusion of a gun, the perceiver reveals shocking news. He is Ian's biological father. He unfolds a tale of Cold War experiments, espionage, and the emergence of the mule, the most powerful of the perceivers capable of mind control, thwarting the government's attempts to eliminate them. Following the formation of the conscience by the mule, survivors learn to conceal their powers and lead ordinary lives. Ian's uniqueness stems from being the only perceiver born naturally, defying the supposed sterility of perceivers. As agents infiltrate the building, the perceiver instructs Esther to take Ian to his house in Madrid. While the duo encounters agents on their escape, Esther skillfully dispatches them, leading to a rooftop encounter where Ian makes a daring escape through a tunnel. Simultaneously, the perceiver faces captivity at the agency's lab. Subjected to a painful experiment, the perceiver utilizes the third power, taking control of the technician's mind to wreak havoc. In Madrid, Esther and Ian reach the Perceiver's house to discover Ian's mother alive but catatonic due to experiments. The Perceiver reveals a sliver of her mind remains, leading Ian to enter her memories. There, he witnesses the torture she endured and learns about a memory she implanted in Ian's mind containing the formula represented by toys. However, the Perceiver's attempt to access the formula is thwarted by an unseen barrier. Ian discerns his mother's desire to prevent anyone from obtaining the formula, and as the perceiver relentlessly hits the invisible barrier in her mind, it inflicts severe damage. In reality, Ian sorrowfully sings his childhood song to his dying mother as agents surround the house and break into the room. Overwhelmed by grief, Ian taps into the third power, effortlessly manipulating the agents to incapacitate themselves and later even forcing them to fatally turn on each other. In a subsequent confrontation, Vicente intervenes, urging Ian to reconsider his actions, but the perceiver, claiming to be Ian's father, escalates the situation by shooting Vicente. Ian, shocked and grieving, loses control over the group. With Vicente's last energy, he implores Ian to enter his mind, revealing a memory where Vicente, at Ian's mother's request, took the baby away to save him. Apologizing and calling Vicente dad again, Ian witnesses one last cherished memory before Vicente passes away. Enraged and seeking revenge, Ian confronts the perceiver at a neighboring party, engaging in a mental and physical struggle. The revelation that the perceiver manipulated Ian's memories and emotions adds another layer of betrayal, leading to a poignant moment with Esther acknowledging her genuine feelings for him. In a panic, Ian mistakenly shoots Esther, but the bullet passes through her, killing the perceiver instead. After the chaotic event, Esther and Ian share a comforting hug. In the aftermath, Ian arranges for graves for his mother and Vicente. Adriana presses Ian to pick a side in the ongoing war, expressing her desperate need for the formula, but Ian declines, choosing to lead with Esther for a fresh start. As they drive away, Ian and Esther share a long-awaited kiss. Ian notices Adriana speaking to the American in the rearview mirror, only to realize she has a loop in her head as well. Thank you for being part of our movie recap. We trust you captured the essential elements of the story and enjoyed the journey down memory lane. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more movie recaps and engaging content. Your support inspires us to produce more fantastic videos like this. We sincerely thank you for watching and stay tuned for more recaps heading your way soon.